Thanks for the purchase of your recurve bow. Today I'd like to go over some of the just simple basics that will help you get started off on the right foot. First thing is just assembling the bow. When you get your bow out, you'll note a lot of the bows don't have any markings at all, like the top limb, but almost always the bottom one will have some sort of marking on it. This particular one I, I know is the bottom because there's there's no markings or anything on the top. So all we want to do is slide that limb into place and then take your limb bolt, put it in the hole, and screw it tight. It doesn't need to be super, just get it finger tight, nice and snug. Once it's in place, when we string it up, everything else will be held in place just fine. So we just get it nice and tight. Repeat the process for the top limb. Just take it, slide it into the limb bracket, take your bolt, and tighten it up. We've got our bow assembled. Now we need to string it. But before we can string it, it's really helpful to know a little bit about the bow string. When you look at your string, you'll notice there's two different size loops. A big loop and a small loop. The small loop will always go on the bottom limb. Let me show you why. We take the top loop, or the bigger loop, to the top limb. We put it over the limb and you can slide it into place. Then we can just put the smaller loop on the bottom limb. Now we're ready to string the bow. The best way and the only way we recommend stringing a bow is with a, a stringer. There's a lot of different styles out there, but I'm sure your stringer will be something very similar to this. You'll take the bow, put it into the bottom limb, and then this particular one's got a rubber block, and we just put it right there. Very simple thing to string it. We're just gonna put that string underneath our foot, hold that block in place, and we're gonna physically flex the bow with one hand and slide the bow or the string up into position. Once it's in place, you wanna visually inspect the top and the bottom limbs to make sure that the string are seated in the groove. Yep, everything's set. You might pull it back once, it just helps settle the limbs. A, a, a squeak is just fine. It's just everything settling into place. Yep, we're good. That is how to string your bow. <laughs> now that we've got our bow str strung, there's a few things we can do to make it shoot better. One of the first things we can do is check the brace height. The brace height is a measurement from the grip to the string. Now every bow's got a re recommended brace height. Typically they're between seven and a half and eight and a quarter inches. Some of the shorter bows might be six and a half, seven inches. So check with the manufacturer. But you can take, this is a, a, a tool designed for this, but you can use a tape measure, a, cut a string to a certain length, just about anything. This particular bow is set at eight inches. I like eight inches because that's where this bow performs better. But you can tune a bow, it's called the sweet spot. You can mess with it by twisting this string, making it shorter, or untwisting it to make it longer. You can adjust the brace height. The sweet spot is where this bow will perform best. Since it's ma they're natural materials, not every bow is the same. One bow might shoot better at seven and a quarter inches, and the next bow might shoot better at eight. You can play with this. 
You'll know you've got the sweet spot when the bow is physically quieter and it's not jumping in your hands. It's just much more pleasurable to shoot. It's not, you don't get the twang like a baseball bat or anything. It's just thump, a nice, clean shot. You're ready to start shooting. All of our bows are set up for a split finger shot. That means when you load your arrow, you're going to have one finger above the arrow and two below. The proper knock location for that would be three eighths above center. I've got this nice tuning tool called a bow square. It goes onto the string. I can slide it into position and I can tell that that knocks in the right spot. It's three eighths of an inch high off of center. Now you can tell it's in the right spot if your arrow is leaving the bow with it perfectly straight, straight as an arrow. If it looks like a dolphin, then you need to adjust this. To adjust this, you'll need to get a pair of knock pliers, and, and you can separate the knock set and move it up and down and then retighten it. A good investment for you would be a bow square and a pair of knock pliers. Now that we've got your bow set up and shooting well, go out and have a good time. But when you're done for the day, you can either completely disassemble the bow and put it back in your case. But since I shoot fairly frequently, I just leave mine strung. If it's going to be more than a week between shooting sessions, we recommend unstringing the bow. And this is how we recommend unstringing it. It's just going to be a short period between shooting sessions. You're just going to take your stringer, put the bottom loop in, put it on the top, get you that under your foot, bring it up, and just let that string come down taken all the weight off the limbs so there's no damage can happen and it's ready to go the next time. Thanks and enjoy shooting your bow.